Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to do this makeup tutorial and I'm going to be using the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette. Um, and I absolutely love this makeup. It's perfect for prom or any other special occasion. I also love wearing it on a daily basis whenever I feel like I need to. Um, but it's really fun, very flirtatious, and absolutely amazing and gorgeous. So I hope you enjoy it and stay tuned to know how I did it. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is prime our eye. I'm going to be using the Too Faced uh, Shadow Insurance. This is actually one of those really popular eyeshadow um, primers, but I have never really used it. So I'm just going to take it and place a tiny bit on my eye. Just a tiny bit. You don't need that much. And then just dab it all over the eye and gently blend it in. Now remember your eyes are a very gentle area. You want to do it as softly and as gently as possible. Now bring it down a little bit because we will be placing eyeshadow underneath the eye as well. Just like that. Using the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette which contains so many gorgeous shadows for any look basically, I'm going to be sticking with this part right here and just incorporating some of these matte brown shades just because I find that it'll help make it look a lot better in pictures. Now first taking Silk Teddy which is this gorgeous gorgeous champagne color, we're going to place it all over the lid. Now before um, we put on eyeshadows, we're going to go in with an NYX um, jumbo eyeshadow pencil, this one's in yogurt, and place it as an eyeshadow base all over the eye. Now drawing this all over the lid is going to give us the perfect um, base and you just lightly want to just kind of move it around your lid with your finger, not too far, but just make sure it's a little bit tacky and sticky to apply the eyeshadows. Now using a shader brush like this one, we're going to pat on that color. Just gently place it all over the lid. As you can see, it's a really pretty color. You really want to use colors that reflect on the lid. You can bring it down a little bit into the inner corner if you would like. Like that. Now taking the color push up, we're going to place this in the crease just to add a little bit of color. It's a little bit more of a warm tone brown, almost a little bit coppery. I'm going to use the Sigma Small Tapered Blending Brush, which looks like this. It's kind of like an egg-shaped brush. Now we're taking that color and placing it a little bit higher than the outer corner V and placing it in the crease. You really want to blend this in nicely, but this we're just using to color, um, to blend and add color to the eye. And then we're going to use a bigger blending brush to actually blend it in nicely. But taking the steel number no. 9 brush, I'm going to blend out the crease. This is a clean brush, so it's going to do absolutely nothing except soften the crease and just make the color a little bit less um, dramatic and a little bit more subtle. Like that. I'm going to take the color Erotica, which is a beautiful shimmery brown. We're going to mix it with Sexpresso, which is a matte brown. This way, the crease is matte and will really show up in pictures a lot better. I'm going to take the Sigma Pencil Brush, which looks like this. It's a little bit dirty because I used it this morning, but um, it's clean, so if I brush it on my finger, there's no color coming off of it. Now, there's a lot of product on my brush, but I'm just going to tap it. We're not blending anything in. You're just tapping it in that outer V area, bringing it towards the eye, and bringing it out into the crease. That is all we're going to do because we don't want to make it a little bit too dark. Using any blending brush, this is just the Sigma um, blending brush, I'm going to take it and just blend it in nicely. You want a clean brush that's not going to have any product on it that really won't affect anything that you already have on your eye. Now taking Heaven, um, which is a nice white shade, we're going to use that as a highlight. I'm going to use the medium angled shading brush, the E70 from Sigma, which looks like this. It's absolutely perfect for the um, highlight area. After grabbing a good amount of the product, we're just going to place it right underneath the brow bone, which is the area where you expect people to put highlight, and also in the inner corner right here. Now, although we already placed a highlight, which is shimmery in there, we really want to just kind of soften up everything and 
place a little bit more of the shimmery color right there. Using any pointed brush like that, we're going to place that shimmery champagne teddy color um, and place it underneath the inner corner. I'm going to place this right in the inner part right here so that it reflects light, but it's not too much. Like that. Now I'm going to use the Maybelline um, Eye Studios Cream li Gel Liner, actually. And I'm going to take this. It's the darkest color. It's called Blackest... Blackiest Black? Blackiest Black. Or Blackest. It says Blackest Black. But we're going to take that and place that um, on our top lash line. And we're going to be using... Um, just any eyeliner brush you have. This is my um, e.l.f. one. It's It got it for $3 at Target. Um, I don't know what it's called. Eyeliner brush. So really just a simple brush that you like to use best for your eyeliner. Um, and you can tell I don't have any makeup on the other eye because I'm going to be doing another look on this eye. <laughs> After getting a good amount of product on the um, brush, we're just going to place that on our lid. Whenever doing liner, start at the center and work your way outward. Now you can make your wing as thin or however you want to make it. I'm just going to make it like that. Um, it really doesn't matter about wing. It all depends on you and your preference for that. Just like that. Now to make my eyeliner last, I'm going to take Blackout from the Naked 2 palette. I'm going to just take an eyeliner, brush, anything that you feel works best. And we're going to take that black and just line right on top of the eyeliner All I have to do is just set it just like that and this way your eyeliner doesn't move or smudge throughout the night now you can place whatever eyeliner you want on the waterline or underneath your lash line, but I'm going to place um, Milk, which is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil, it's just the white one, and I'm going to place it um, in the very, like, lash line, waterline, I mean, because I find that that way it makes my eyes brighter, and I'm going to set it with a powder so that it stays throughout the night, but you can see it just, it brightens up my eye a lot. So I'm actually going to stay away from just plain white. Um, sorry, I got like stuff all over my under eye area. Anyways, I'm going to avoid using um, any just plain white. And so I'm going to go in with Jessie's Girls uh, Mineral Powder that I got from Eye Mats. I'm going to take this powder with an angled brush, just the same one that I was using before. And I'm going to lightly just grab a little of the product. And it reflects gold, so it's going to look absolutely gorgeous. I'm just going to pat it gently on the waterline. Um, and I'm not going to, like, overdo it where it has to um, be, like, everything perfect. I just want it slightly just on there. So that there's a little bit of reflection, but it doesn't have to be everywhere. Just like that. Now I'm going to go underneath here now, and I'm going to go in with the same brush just because it's easier with this one. I'm going to go in to the same palette um, that we were using, the Naked palette, and I'm going to take the push-up color that we put in the um, crease in the beginning, and we're going to just take it on the same eyeliner brush and place that right underneath the eye. Um, and I'm going to go in with Sixpresso, which is the matte shade right here. And we are going to just place that right along the lash line just to add a little bit more of um, a contrast between the light, the dark liner. 
and you don't want it too harsh you want it to be very light and very simple something that's gonna keep it classy but um not gonna go off too strong I think that in pictures it looks best when things are just a lot more um, simple so now I'm just gonna curl my lashes and put on my mascara for mascara I'm going to be using the falsies mascara just because I find that this one looks absolutely amazing and I'm going to take voluminous carbon black and place that on top um, and place this one on the water uh, the lower lash line but usually for a prom, I would recommend you wear false eyelashes. I just don't have false eyelashes for myself. I have a lot for prom, but not for me. So um, just do that, and you'll see a huge difference in the makeup. Now, as you can see, after placing the mascara on, it makes a huge, huge difference. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial, and please check out all the other ones I made. I'll show you guys them at the end. So enjoy!